Hello and welcome to another symphony story time. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Amy. I'll be your reader as we share two of our favorite things, music and books. And with me today is our, my friend Michael from the Oregon Symphony. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be back to play another story for you. My name is Michael Roberts, and I play percussion, if you remember. But I have all sorts of new percussion instruments here that I'm excited to play for you. And if you remember, percussion includes over 100 different types of drums, mallet instruments, and sound effects. But you might be most familiar with drum sounds, like these bongos. We're gonna use a lot of these bongos in this story you're here, as with all sorts of other drums. So we're gonna hear a lot of different percussion instruments with oh, our yeah. book, which is? Tonka Tonka Skunk. Which we love because we love the way the words create a rhythm that work perfectly with you playing your percussion instruments. Right. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Tonka Tonka Skunk by Steve Webb, published by Hutchinson. This is Tonka. This is Skunk. They love to play the drums. Say their names together. They sound like drums. Like this. Skunka Tonka, Skunka Tonka, Tonka Tonka Skunk. They've got the beat and so have their friends. This is Kangaroo. His name has three beats, like this. Kangaroo. And this is Caterpillar. His name has four beats, like this. Caterpillar. They've lots more friends for you to meet. Say their names to the Skunka Tonka beat. Skunka tonka, skunka tonka, tonka tonka skunk. Tiger cheetah, tiger cheetah, panda polar bear. Lemur, llama, llama, lemur, zebra, badger, bat. Biller, big gorilla, yakety yakety yak. Skunk a tonk a skunk a tonk a tonk a tonk a skunk. Beaver, otter, badger, beaver, dingo, donkey, duck. Panda, panther, tiger, zebra, alligator, fox. Spider armadillo ox. Skunka tonka, skunka tonka, tonka tonka skunk. Ant eater, ant eater, big blue whale. Quiet now, lie down, time to say good night. Tired Tonka, sleepy Tonka, baby bear night night. Wake up, jump up, bouncy kangaroo. Quack, quack, oink, oink, cock a doodle doo. Skunk a tonka, skunk a tonka, tonka, tonka skunk. Once more from the top. Faster this time, please. Skunk a tonk a tonk a tonk a tonk a tonk a skunk. Tiger cheetah, tiger cheetah, panda polar bear. Lemur, llama, llama, lemur, zebra, badger, bat. Tonka, skunk, tonka, 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 skunk. Be 
beaver, otter, badger, beaver, dingo, donkey, duck. Panda, panther, tiger, zebra, alligator, fox. Tiny little hairy spider, armadillo, ox. Skunk, a dunk, a skunk, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk, a skunk. Ant eater, ant eater, big blue whale. Quiet now, lie down, time to say good night. Tired Tonka, sleepy Tonka, baby bear night night. Wake up, jump up, bouncy kangaroo. Quack, quack, oink, oink, cock a doodle doo. Skunk a tonka, skunk a tonka, tonka tonka skunk. Wasn't that fun? That was so much fun. Thank you. That, it was so much fun. It was fun to say the words. It was fun to hear the rhythm on the percussion instruments. Were any of you clapping along? Mm -hmm. I loved it. All right, so will you show us some of the instruments that you use to play those sounds and create those rhythms? Yes, I'd be happy to talk about these instruments. Uh, first, I want to remind you, if you remember what a percussion instrument is, and a percussion instrument is anything you can strike shake, or scrape. Like this cute little frog that don't you just want to it's take it everywhere? It's an actual frog. It's shaped like an actual little frog. It's so <laughs> cute. That, yeah. Um, and do any of you remember what the instruments are made out of? I'll give you a hint. That's right. This is, instrument is made out of wood. This is a wood block. And then we have another material here, which is metal. And this is a cowbell. And then the last material, we said wood, metal, and plastic. And our drum heads are made out of plastic. And really quickly, I wanted to mention one of my favorite instruments, since we were talking about striking, shaking, and scraping, is the tambourine, because you can do all three with it. You can strike it, shake it, and if you're lucky, scrape it. Isn't that fun? It is. <laughs> we have some questions from some of you. Would you be willing to answer them? I'd be happy to. Okay, the first one is from Shelby. She's six and a half, and she wants to know how many instruments you know how to play. Hi, Shelby, that's a great question. And you know, actually the answer to that is that it's, it's almost endless. Uh, like I mentioned, there's over maybe 100 instruments, I could say, in the percussion library. But you know, composers are always writing music every day where they're making up instruments that usually fall in the laps of percussionists to learn how to play. So I'm learning something new every day. And I think our next question is actually gonna help answer that first question. This is from Avery, she's six, and she wanted you to know that you can put beans in a yogurt thing that doesn't have the yogurt in it and shake it, but if you're going to do that, be sure to tape it or there will be a disaster. That's so cool, Avery. And you know, I used to do the same thing when I was younger at home to make different shakers, like this egg shaker. You can actually take jars, empty jars at home, and you can fill them with popcorn seeds, beads, or anything really, and you can make your own shaker. And that would be a percussion instrument, so you can make your own percussion instruments at home, which is very fun. Yeah. All right, last question. This is from Webb, he's five, and he wants to know what kind of drum is it that is in a marching band? Great question, Webb. Well, one of the most popular instruments in the classical and marching repertoire is the snare drum, which is this instrument here. And the reason it's called a snare drum is because on the, un underneath the drum, there are these wires called snares. So when they touch the head, they vibrate and make a buzzy sound. So if they're not touching, the drum sounds like this. And if I turn them on and make the snares touch, you have. 
And this is what's most commonly used in the marching band. And you're going to play a march for us. I would be happy yes, to. With the snare drum and with something else. With the snare else. drum. And I'm going to add some tambourine with my foot. Okay. Because we love to multitask. So we're going to sit back and listen to Michael play, but we're going to clap along or march along. And before he starts, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us and listening to a story and learning about percussion instruments. And we hope you'll listen to another symphony story time. <laughs>